tízes éveim derekán nagyon nagy hatással volt rám, így ez a John Zorn féle Old Udvar és a Mike Patton és az ő kiadója az ipekek. Mivel én szervezgettem is koncerteket, azért felmerült bennem, hogy hát ha el lehet hozni trevor a triójával is. A Porgy and Bass-ben játszott a triójával, Mary Halvorsonnal és Chess Smith-szel, ez 11 két éve lehetett, és akkor ott itt találkoztunk, dumáltunk meg, felmerült ez, hogy akkor esetleg egy közelebbi, legközelebbi turné ne jönnének ide. Eltelt jó pár év, meg évekig nem is beszéltünk, és az Obake nevű olasz ilyen dúm zenekaromból a basszus gitáros mindenféle magánéleti okok miatt kimaradt. Elkezdtünk ötletelni a kiadóval, hogy ki lehetne az, aki pótolná, akinek megvan ugyanez a karakteres, nem tudom, egy olyan basszus játéka, ami akár mint vezérhangszer is megállja a helyét. És hát Trevor volt az egyik, illetve volt az első, ő első számú versenyző, és a kiadó megegyezett vele, és eljött le, nem tovább, ezt a turnét, mi akkor zenéltünk együtt először. I started playing clarinet when I was maybe eight years old, something like that, and uh, I actually wanted to play the saxophone, you know, but my parents said, well, we can't really afford a saxophone, but my mother played clarinet in the school band, so she still had a clarinet. So they said, why don't you start with clarinet? And I did that for four years, and I really liked it. Uh, but then my older brother started bringing home rock records, like Cheap Trick and Kiss, Blondie, all these bands. And uh, I really got into that. And then I, he played guitar, so I decided to start playing bass. I stayed with bass. I started studying jazz in high school. And uh, when I got to college, I started studying uh, contrabass and classical technique. At that time, I was working at a pizza place, and I joined a local bar band that played oldies and Rolling Stones and Beatles and stuff like that. And and uh, so I quit the pizza job because playing in a bar band was uh, took less time, and I made more money doing it. Now I'm mostly a freelance musician. Um, so I play with a lot of different people and it's very sporadic and random. Um, in general I play, I still play quite a bit with John Zorn um, in a few different ensembles of his and, um, and I still play in Tomahawk, a band with, um, with Patton and Dwayne Dennison and John Stanier. Also I'm trying to write more of my own music, I'm writing some chamber music, some solo piano music and string quartet and um, I have a group, my trio Convulsant, and, which is guitar, bass, and drum trio, but I've added a uh, string quartet to that. My writing process, um, it depends, I guess. Um, for instance, I've, you know, I've been working on these solo piano pieces, and, and they're very inspired by Chopin, or, um, uh, but in kind of more of a, you know, my own, twisted version of that. Um, so I, I listen to a lot of Chopin I, and I look at the scores and I analyze them and and then I start just making sketches about really simple ideas and and then I usually sit down at a Fender Rhodes and just start messing around um, until I find certain themes. I've also been working on sort of a, a singer-songwriter record so I'm recording it all myself at home in uh, you know, my software at home and I'm recording myself playing different instruments and singing. And that I usually work on the computer, you know, I sort of, I sort of write and mix and edit all at the same time and kind of create these songs. The difference between composing and improvising is, is like having a, con improvising would be having a conversation and composing would be writing a story. For instance, I never know, I don't know what questions you're going to ask me, so suddenly you ask a question, I have to think, you know, and come up with an answer, and there is something to that, there's something to the, um, the immediate, uh, the immediacy of, of, um, of a conversation, you know, and if I now wanted to take this interview and go home and edit it and rewrite it, you know, and, and really make it uh, smooth and have themes and use maybe better words, 
you know, that's composition to me. And, and, and it still would be coming from me, but just in a, you know, I'd be rewriting what I said. Ilyen meditatív állapotba kerülök, amikor zenélek optimális esetben, és nem tudom igazából, a, a, ami figyelmem van, vagy a, amire így vissza tud, fel tudok idézni, az, az az, hogy figyelek, koncentrálok arra, hogy mit hallok. Tehát azért az, amikor az ember valamelyik érzékszervére helyezi a hangsúlyt, akkor ugye a többi az úgy valamennyire eltompul mellette, és ez történik itt is, hogy egyszerűen annyira erősen koncentrálok arra, hogy mi az, amit hallok, hogy gyakorlatilag minden más kikapcsol. Balas and I met, um, that's a good question. I don't remember exactly when we met. It might have been when I played with John Zorn in the, in the old synagogue. Um, but uh, we became friends after that. We share a lot of common interest in music and we started playing together fairly recently with Jamie Saft, a, a keyboard player in New York. And we made a couple records together with him. I told him I was coming to Europe this month and he said, hey, you should come to Budapest and we'll hang out and we'll eat, you know, goulash and sausage and próbáltam arra is hangsúlyt fektetni, hogy, hogy embereket is megismerjen, tehát hogy ne az legyen, hogy én így azért kézen fogva hurcibálom magammal, és ilyen, nem tudom, burkot képzek körülötte, hanem, hanem próbáltam olyan helyzeteket teremteni, hogy másokkal is, nem tudom, tudjon beszélni, kapja egy átfogóbb képet arról, hogy milyenek vagyunk mi itt a Kárpát-medence közepén. He said, I'll, I'll set up a gig. And... So, actually, we don't, we've only discussed very briefly what we're going to do as a duo tonight. I'm, I'm going to play solo and then on upright bass, and then we're going to play a little bit duo, and then I'm going to switch to electric bass and we're going to play duo. Um, and, uh, you know, we've, we've only touched on conceptually what we're going to do musically, but it's, it's going to be improvised and it's going to kind of um, the old wide range of textures, I think. Mm -hmm. 